Hey Explorers, today we're going to be talking about sustainability. What exactly is sustainability? Simply put, sustainability is small changes we can make to help look after our planet. Making these changes helps protect animals, plants, and even our environment's natural resources. With planet Earth being home to more than 7 billion people, there are a lot of the Earth's resources being used every day. Sustainability gives us a way to protect and conserve the environment. But what are some changes you can make to your life, Walter? There are the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Or you can bike or walk instead of taking a car. You can also use renewable energy sources like wind or solar power. There are many things we can do every day to help sustain our planet, including reduce harmful methane gases in our environment. Today, we're going to do the methane gas landfill experiment to help demonstrate one way we can all make a difference. For this experiment, you'll need four plastic or glass bottles. Please use what you already have in your recycling bin. That way you can help sustain the planet. We'll need three different kinds of fruit or vegetable scraps. We have raspberries, bananas, and onions. Plus, you'll need water, some tape, and four balloons. And you will need a lot of time to watch this experiment happen. We are going to be taking seven days to observe this experiment. This experiment demonstrates just how important it is to compost our food waste properly, because food waste put in a traditional landfill creates methane gas. Did you know that in Canada alone there is 2.2 million tons of edible food wasted every year? Not only is this tons of waste, but when it's put in a traditional landfill it doesn't have the oxygen it needs to decompose properly, creating methane gas. Methane is a colorless, odorless, and highly flammable gas composed of carbon and hydrogen. It is also a potent greenhouse gas, meaning it affects climate change by contributing to increased warming. Science! Now, we're going to mash up our food waste and put it into our bottles. I'm going to start with our raspberries. Next, we're going to cover our fruit in water. This is going to recreate the lack of oxygen, which is going to mimic the effects of a traditional landfill. Once the bottle is filled to about three quarters way, we're going to put our balloon over the top. Next, I'm going to repeat this process with my bananas and onions, as well as do a fourth bottle with just water in it. Food waste, when composted in an organic landfill with access to oxygen, produces carbon dioxide gas, a very normal thing in the environment. Food waste in a landfill without oxygen is in an anaerobic state and produces methane gas, which is very harmful to the environment. Lastly, I'm going to tape around the top of our bottle with the balloon so that none of our gas escapes. Okay. We've recreated our landfill conditions, so now we can place our bottles in a nice warm place, watch them for a week, and come back to describe our observations. Okay, explorers, we've had the week to watch our balloons fill with methane gas. This had the same effect as if we didn't compost our food waste properly. It's more gas than I expected, and this was on a very small scale. Imagine if we used all 2.2 million tons of food waste in Canada every year to do this experiment. That would be a very harmful amount of methane. So what are the solutions and what can we do to prevent this from happening? First, it's important to reduce the amount of food waste that we produce. A little bruise on a piece of fruit doesn't make it inedible. Buy only what you need at the grocery store and use leftovers instead of throwing them away. 
Secondly, when there's food waste that can't be eaten, make sure we're using our green bins to dispose of that organic waste. Green bins are collected by the city and the waste inside is taken to organics processing facilities where it can be composted properly, therefore reducing the harmful effects. So there you have it, explorers, ways we can live in harmony with our planet and learn how to protect it. For more information about the world around us, you can subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media, or check out our website at explorationstation.net. Stay green and stay curious out there, explorers. Clayton's Exploration Station.